Lindari. What's up? Shut up. Yeah. <laughs> we Eat appreciate you tuning in. <laughs> like, comment, and subscribe on the video while you're here. Definitely going in there. <laughs> <laughs> Make a call and response and the shutdown. <laughs> In Dang. case you <laughs> shut up, <laughs> I mean it was a good. Sauce he was just pit, rambling man. all, man. Y'all asked me about this sauce pit. It was but really ugly. In case you've been living on a rock for a week, we got your sports and news updates. I think about Patrick from SpongeBob every time you say that. We're the Weird Ones podcast because he lives under a rock. And this does he? This yeah. I didn't know that is episode one twenty five. SpongeBob lives in the pineapple of yeah. the Chris Sports I Rundown. <laughs> What are y'all doing, man? I'm trying to work here. Uh, <laughs> 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 Emotional damage. Oh, All right, what you That's got, cool, Chris? Man. Let's go. Let's go. All right, first thing we got is the World Cup. Boom. Argentina beats France for the World Cup. Uh, Leo Messi. The GOAT solidified his GOAT status, winning his first World Cup. Uh, he scored his second goal. I can't even argue with that because I don't know another golf coach. I was thinking the same. Ronaldo <laughs> and you the said dude golf from France. No, I, don't, I mean, soccer. The bad. dude from France, they call him. They say he's up there. Yeah, he's up no. there too. Be- Beckham my GOAT? Uh, I don't think he's good as Messi. Well, he's he's like, like a, a yeah. bottle nigga. No, I think he just was a good soccer player, nah, bro. Good. That's why no, I like the like, Galaxy gave him all that yeah. money. But I'm like, I just see him on Dolce and Gabbana come out. Well, now, that's getting that bread, like 40 bro. I gotta now. get this paper. Yeah. He always squinting his eyes and shit. Dog. He's married to a Spice Those Girl. stupid duck lips. <laughs> <laughs> his wife is a Spice Girl. Yeah. <laughs> I thought that was kind of cool. <laughs> that's, your no, that's your little known fact? That's right? what I know about <laughs> soccer right there. <laughs> David Beckham is married to Posh Spice. <laughs> no, they had the... Uh, the, uh, it was on right before, just before 12 o'clock, before the NFL yeah. game. On. Only reason I saw it, I was looking for the Chiefs game. Yeah, but was texting about it and shit. Like, I was looking at that like because I, I I turned it on. I'm like, wait a minute, they doing penalty kicks? Like it was it was three to three, and they were yeah. in the game on penalty. I kicks. was getting I was to like, that before y'all shit. interrupted me. I don't even know what a penalty kick is. It's like you get five kicks, we <laughs> and get. And y'all trying to talk about me? What I said on <laughs> last crazy, episode? Like, you should know that, that is crazy. <laughs> but, oh, right. like a free throw? No, what? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you niggas lined up on this goal. <laughs> what <laughs> what you So the game ended in 3-3 three, three tie. So they had like penalty kicks. Each team get five kicks. And it started off, it was uh, Mbappe kicking for France and Messi was kicking for Argentina. Mm-hmm. Both of them made it. The next dude came up from France. Uh, dude blocked the kick, the goalie, and that shit went crazy. Mm, nuts. Did, did, did you go hand? crazy too? I was like, this shit's getting wild. They ain't got no dog in the fight. <laughs> But dude stood up and started dancing and shit. He had like green streak in his hair. Mm-hmm. Then the guy from Argentina went, made it. Next guy from France came, uh, missed it. Didn't even go on the go. No block, nothing. He just missed it. Then the guy from Argentina came. So he nutted came. up, basically. <laughs> yeah, he's fucking. <laughs> Mom was too big. Pissed down his pants. <laughs> like old boy. Like Shout Saudi Arabia's yeah. prime minister. <laughs> oh, that was South Sudan. <laughs> South Sudan, my bad. But my the bad third Saudi guy Arabia. from Argentina made the kick. Then it was 3-1. Then the fourth guy from uh, France came up, made his kick. Like, nerves are still, bro. Didn't even blink. Mm. Walked up there. Normally, you know, they kick it to, like, one side or the other. He walked up there and just kicked the Stone motherfucker cold. straight Kill. in. Yeah, they always jump to yeah. one side. Yeah. I was like, that's pretty smart. Because yeah. dude definitely jumped. Yeah. And he kicked it right where he was standing. And he was always jumped to one and side. And it was, like, two, three. And they were like, yo, if this guy from Argentina makes this kick, Argentina has won the World Cup. Like, the whole thing. The whole thing. The whole thing. So, why are they coming to Kansas City for so that's that's a new year, World bro. Cup, bro. Is it oh, next it's year? another World Cup? They, got they do the World Cup every like every four years. Every four so it's, years. it's like the Olympics. Yeah. I thought yeah. it was coming next year, though. No, I don't know when it is. Bro. It can't be next, next year, year because no. they have to do a lot of renovations to uh, Arrowhead to get it in. No, I don't think it's next year. Oh. But the fourth guy from Argentina went up there. Let me find out. Nailed the fucking kick, and shit went crazy. You know, it's soccer, so of course he takes off his yeah. shirt and he's crying and shit. You know. Oh. It was weird, though, because the French team was just still on the field just looking dumbfounded. Like, Couldn't believe it, huh? No, they believed it. They know they missed that kick. 2026. Oh, in oh City. yeah. Okay. But I don't really like soccer, but I was like, that shit was exciting. I'm about to say, so did this make you want to go buy FIFA? I like playing the game FIFA. Oh. Like, yeah, I, I've always liked playing the game My FIFA. My kids love playing FIFA. Yeah, like, the game you is great. You own FIFA? Yeah, it was one of them free games for PlayStation Plus. Oh, <clears throat> 
I don't make me want to go start playing soccer or no <laughs> shit like that, though. But. I mean, you don't have a soccer body, but. Yeah, so. I'm a goalie. <laughs> yeah. A hockey goalie, my nigga. Oh, that's a smaller goal. I, I, goal. I know. Goal. Smaller goal, bigger body. Do you, yeah. you tough to beat? Nigga. I feel like I can get a soccer goalie too. Like they don't was, look athletic. They just you, guessing. Really, I always wonder like why hockey don't get like just some big random big dude, can huge dude, Lindbergh? bigger than the goal. Can you imagine? Lindbergh? And just sit there with the biggest fucking. I wonder if it's a requirement. Let me look at that. It's a requirement. That's a requirement of the size goal you have. No, no it can't be. Let me look. <laughs> I get somebody talking. like uh, Brock Lesnar or something like. Just sit in front of the goal. No, nah, because you want them a little smaller, but why? Like a, a dietary pole. You seen the dude's shoulders? But what about like a... Dude from the Buccaneers. What's his name? Hody Nada. Oh, yeah. Or you know what? Who's the uh, who's the Niners D tackle? Is it Armstead? It's like 6'6"? Six, six? Yeah. Like, but you don't really want goal. him tall, though. But for soccer, though. Oh, for soccer, yeah. He's like, if he's 6'6", six, six, you know, he like just yeah. Yeah. Cover, the, cover the net. Yeah. But those dudes, it seemed like they mostly got a guess. How big is the soccer goal? I don't know. It's huge. It it's is. Huge. Yeah. The crossbar is at least 10 feet. It is. But then they also, like, the the dude that's kicking, he's not far from the goal. So it's like, because I was watching, like, he's just guessing. And the announcer's like, yeah, you know. On a penalty kick. Yeah, on a penalty guessing. kick. He's just, they just got to guess because, like, you can't wait for him to kick it. And you can't protect the whole goal. That's no. why I, when dude kick it straight down the middle, it's like, man, I didn't see you jump one way or the other, all these other kicks. So I know you're yeah. going to move if I kick it straight down the middle. But I, I've, I've also seen people who tried that to kick it straight down the middle and the goalie was just standing there like, dummy. <laughs> so when Messi kicked his penalty kick, he kicked like a little dribbler. Like he ran through it fast and he just like, you know, like a slow and bouncy kickball type shit. Mm, wow. And dude was already gone this way and it was just like, those was the days. Yeah. Kickball, no size requirement, but it's um, what a time to be alive mm -hmm. for hockey. For hockey, no size requirement, but they it's a size, it's a requirement on the size of like the pads and stuff. Uh, yeah, so yeah, I would just give me an offensive lineman, like cover yeah. this whole thing up. That's a little bit and of make sure you cover, Larry Allen. Six, cover the six, the five, hole. the five, the five, hole. whatever yeah. it is. Cover that <laughs> the six hole. He making that number. <laughs> <laughs> cover it between your legs, man. Yeah. But a soccer goal is way bigger. Though. It is. You yeah. can't get a lineman. Yeah. yeah. Nah, we're talking about for hockey. That's why. But I you can get like better. LeBron or somebody. You could. I think it would. That, yeah, that oh, would like be honest. Like, they said that. Oh, yeah, honestly, like goalie, bro. It says that coaches have swayed back and forth between wanting like um, tall, taller goalies in hockey, yeah. but now they're they want like more agile. So I'm pretty sure Giannis played soccer before. He ain't from over. He from over. I've there. seen Giannis do soccer shit with a yeah. basketball. I know he's played. Soccer. Oh, I think Giannis brothers. would be a good goalie. Probably because so. he's still agile yeah. enough to move side to side. Yeah. So. And he's and then like if he laid out like yeah you not you know you know scoring me no <laughs> <laughs> no 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 like Giannis who else would be a great goal? He's still the Greek freak. Uh, bowl 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 bowl. Oh <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I take him beat as a goalie. And B's back is broken. Slow. And B can play soccer too. Yeah, he's oh, from, yeah. soccer stuff he from Jamaica. He's not from Jamaica, bro. <laughs> oh, no, that's uh, DeAndre Ayton from the Bahamas. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga just thought of the blackest place he can think of. God Where is damn. the population? Well, he don't 500 breeds of dogs. <laughs> God damn it, Chris. All right. Uh, so we Messi. appreciate you tuning in. Oh, I already said that part. <laughs> <laughs> like and subscribe. <laughs> no, nah, but uh, Messi did say this was his last World Cup, so hmm. he won his last one. I don't know how old he is, but I feel like he's been around. He's a long thirty-five, time. I think. Ooh. Yeah, he's thirty-five. There you go. There it is. Nope. All right. Uh, on to the NFL. Get y'all shit together, America. <clears throat> God damn. Yeah, for sure. Uh, on to the NFL. Uh, 49ers clinched the NFC West. Are you fucking serious? Right with now? a twenty-one thirteen win and season sweep over the Seahawks, and now I won seven in a row. Oh my god. Uh. Glock Purdy. Oh my this God! Counting Glock Purdy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, or wait, hold on. Oh, I uh, hate Twitter. <laughs> I hate Twitter. So, uh, prime time. Okay, we'll go with prime, prime time. Purdy, since the Jimmy G injury, has completed sixty nine percent of his passes, six hundred twelve yards, Bleh. seven total touchdowns, one interception, with a one hundred eight point eight rating. I will admit he's been playing pretty decent. He's pain, like, is it paying you to say that? No, I mean, like when, when somebody, it's the fan, he gonna fold. It, mm. it looks like a lot of teams probably got it wrong. With him. No, no, nah. I don't think so. I think it's 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 a system thing too. Yeah, though. Kyle's like a QB whisperer. I don't feel like that though. I seen some passes against uh, Seattle where he had to back up 
And he hit, he tried to hit, I think it was Ayuk on the right side on the comeback. And it was a tight window. He threw his shit way wide. And I yeah. was like, yeah, he ain't got I it. mean, he's nice. He's made some good throws. But the thing is with the 49ers <laughs> offense. Just don't make a mistake. Well, that. <laughs> and also, you got to hit the open guy. Like, he's just hitting the open guy. Like, Jimmy won't hit that's the open like, guy sometimes. I feel like that's a lot of. Team. Like kid will be running wide open and Jimmy will check down and throw it to Ayuk. He'll make the he'll hit the pass to Ayuk, but it's like you made the wrong choice. But like Purdy's actually hitting that open player. Like we saw against the Seahawks, he hit hit, kid kid open wide open twice, wide open. Like players be open in this offense. It's just that Jimmy will miss him and he'll take the harder throw. He'll hit the harder throw. Jimmy trash. Jimmy's not trash. Jimmy's Jimmy QB, go. Jimmy QB's vision trash. <clears throat> I mean Jimmy's limited. We've known that. We've seen that. Just say it. He's a middle of the way quarterback. Just He's saying. Been. So you got faith in Purdy if y'all down fourteen? I do. I mean, especially with the defense. Hopefully they'll hold him only down fourteen. I feel like he could. I mean, he's got nice feet in the pocket. Uh, he's always. I mean, he can throw different angles. I don't know. I seen. Uh, I watched I mean, him play. I'm like, I feel like some teams probably missed out on this kid. He seemed like he's pretty decent. I mean, he's nice. He's talented. He's just. He's just short. Quarterback, yeah, skinny little white kid. How, how tall is he? <sighs> he don't look that tall. He's probably only like 5'11". Five, 5'12". Five, <laughs> <laughs> six foot, he might be. Uh, but uh, I remember I said that to They a got girl him at 6'1". Six, one. One. Six, so one. he's probably 6'5". I said one. that to yeah. a girl once, so I'm 5'12". She's like, nigga. Was that, your, was that your that pickup line? For you. I just, just oh. seeing if they were smart enough. That was another division that was supposed <clears throat> to be really tough and turned out not to be shit. Yeah. So the Rams suck. Yeah. Seattle, you didn't really expect much from them going into the. Well, season. you thought they were going to be the trash team in that division. They turned out to be the ones still fighting for a playoff yeah. spot. And the Cardinals, you thought were going to be good. But I watched Kyler the Murray's Cardinals Kyler play, Murray. man. They just, just I don't know don't why people thought it, the bro. Cardinals were. They just like don't have like they. When I watch the Cardinals play, it's kind of like they run out there. They be like, if we win, we win. If we lose, we lose. Whatever. Mm-hmm. It's like don't nobody really give a shit. I'm ready for J.J. Watt to retire. What are you doing I don't here? care whether he retire or not. He ain't <coughs> playing. And then, uh, He's always hurt. Kyle Mur- uh, I mean, with Kyler that, Murray did waiting on Anthony Davis tear his ACL. Gone for the year. Monday night's game. My bad. No. Nah, it's all good. I was just adding that in what there. What are talking about? Show. Kyler Murray. Kyler Murray tore his ACL on Monday night's game. So, so now they really like the, don't look trash. Like the third play of the game. Oh, yeah. Because he was like... Like trying to slide or something, and just, like, he was just contact. running. He's but he just cut, cut back. Yeah, yeah. Not, yeah. Not contact injury. So now they trotting out Colt turf. McCoy. I think it is right. Yeah, yeah. But Damn. I mean, their season's been over. Colt McCoy, who I remember from Texas, <laughs> Michael Crabtree's Michael catch. Crabtree caught yeah. the cut. He just close your mouth for <laughs> he some playing it, boy. <laughs> close your mouth for a stick. So many. You say. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even help. Let's oh, talk about a glizzy dog, man. Get your mouth, get your head like out the gutter. <laughs> Did you just say glizzy? Uh, but not nah, uh, Chris. Say glizzy dog. Back to Thursday night's game, really quick. Close it out. Uh, Christian McCaffrey, 138 total yards, one TD. I did like that they were actually feeding him the ball. Like he was in the whole game to the very end. Uh, they don't got no choice. Yeah. Nobody gives a fuck. I mean, Debo hurt now. Yeah. Um, Debo is hurt. Oh, is he hurt for? At least the next three weeks with uh he had an MCL sprain and a high ankle sprain. Ooh, you it looked the hit looked bad. Um I, I so thought he, he might was gone. come back for the playoffs. Well they said he's gonna make a return the last game of the season just to get him ready for the playoffs. That's hopefully optimism right there. Yeah. But he should be ready for the playoffs though, for sure. Man, y'all don't wanna see Minnesota. Um George Kittle had four receptions, ninety three yards, two touchdowns. Solid game. Solid game. It was. It's like a bad twenty five fantasy points. Uh, okay, so then we're going to go to yesterday's game, Saturday, Saturday's game. Saturday. We had the Vikings beat the Colts 39-36 to and mm. clinch the NFC North. That was a crazy after game. After being down 33 nothing at halftime. Yeah. Did you see on Twitter they got uh, banners in the Colts stadium talking about the first half champs? <laughs> <laughs> now, as a Chiefs fan, you have no pity for them for this, right? Fuck no. Yeah. I, dude, as soon as it happened, I'm like... It I took thought, a while, but karma is a <laughs> I thought first, I said, Sarri needs to be fired. But then I thought, you know what? Shit happens. He might come back and be a good coach. So, Jeff Saturday is actually 0-2 now on Saturday games. Wah, wah, wah. He was, well, he lost one as that's a player, too. <laughs> <laughs> he only played one Saturday game? I guess as a player, yeah. Kinda that's a tough though. loss, man. You Down know, 33. That's a tough one. What do you say? You don't say nothing because in order for a team to come back from 33 points, 
That means everybody over here fucked up. Like, everybody. Yeah. I fucked yeah. up offense. He fucked up defense. He fumbled a point on special teams. You call cover zero blitz on 30-19. They got a touchdown. Everybody fucked up. Everybody. Yeah. Fucked up. Uh, it's the largest comeback in NFL history. Uh, the previous record was the Bills' 32-point comeback in the win over the Oilers in a 1993 wild card game. Excuse me. Oh, Jim oh, Kelly the back Bills there, was huh? doing they four in a row. It was actually yeah. Frank Reich, the what? old Colts coach, oh, was shit. the Bills quarterback that brought them back. Oh, so that wasn't Jim Kelly. Then. In 93? No, in 93. But that was when the Bills went to four in a row. Was Kelly hurt? He must have got hurt yeah, that game. He so. played in the Super Bowls. Oh, I don't know. I, I don't they know put if that Kelly played in all of those. I think he did. I don't know. It yeah, he did. Google. I know he did. Let Johnny me got that on the Google, Google it. though. All right. Uh, Tell us the truth. We had uh, Kirk Cousins said at halftime that Patrick Peterson said, all we need is five touchdowns, and he thought he was being sarcastic. But I guess Patrick Peterson was trying to get him hyped up for it. Nigga, that's a lot. I know. Jim <laughs> Kelly is tied for four Super Bowl losses, the most out of any quarterback. God, that's 33 points. The only saving grace they got is it wasn't in the playoffs. I, was oh. the Chiefs and Colts in the playoffs? So do we go on record and say that Kirk Cousins has a better comeback ability than Patrick Mahomes? No. Hell I mean, no. it's still the Colts. The Colts have been having a tough season. Yeah, but I don't care. That's a pro team. I mean, yeah, it's you still get, grown men out like, there. It was the ball. Colts and they got up 33 points. They were still the Colts. Yeah, you know that's right. That's right. So, no, nah, I ain't going to say it's just the Colts. Now you gave up a 33-point lead. Fuck that. What the heck were they doing in Buffalo during this year? Y'all keep talking. I'm trying to figure out what's going on. Uh, Kirk Cousins, he did go for uh, 460 yards, four touchdowns. Ooh. Justin Jefferson, 123 yards and a TD. How many yards? 123 yards. Oh. One, two, three. Oh, boy, was was, was balling. Uh, uh, was it K.J. Osborne? Who? Hey, K.J. Osborne? K.J. Osborne. Who, who he played for? The Vikings. The Vikings receiver? You talking yeah. about Justin Jefferson? No. The other receiver, he had like 147 or some crazy shit. I don't like remember that. who the other receiver nine, was. Nine Adam Thielen? No. <laughs> no. I mean, they probably got. But he's talking about the more. dude with the dreads. I don't know. Yeah. yeah Everybody look at me like I'm crazy. <laughs> well, I just don't know what I'm talking about, man. You know, I'm sorry. Uh, One time I pitch in. So since Shut na- your fucking <laughs> 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 So since 1930, teams leading by 30 plus KJ points. KJ Osborne, you're right. Were 1,548 1 and 1. So now they 1,548, two, two and one. Two and one, yeah. <laughs> I ain't got no pity for That's a wild stat. I ain't got no pity for them. It was going to be history, man. Well, this is just a regular season game. Like, that happened in the it playoffs. Felt, it, you like, it felt like a playoff game. You got all you niggas out of here. I man. mean, it's a regular season game, but the thing is, they're not going nowhere, so it really don't count. Like, if they were yeah. in contention for the playoffs, that's, what I'm saying. that's the type of shit that, that stick with a team. You know, if you, if you just consider a playoff team and then you let that happen, that might stick with you for a couple weeks. Mm-hmm. To lose, if you were the Colts, to lose a playoff game like that. No, not bro. even. So, like, say, like, that's tough. The Chiefs are, are are in a playoff contention. If they lost a thirty-three point lead to Houston or somebody like that, or any good team, like that's gonna stick with you for a couple weeks. Yeah, that'd be tough to shake. So Matt Ryan has lost the the largest comeback in a Super Bowl and the largest comeback in a regular season. He lost both of those games. Starting to see a pattern, Matty Ice. <laughs> yeah, he a hoe. He give it up. So has the ice thawed out? For sure. It's been thawed out. It ain't been back frozen <laughs> since that Super Bowl. Matter of fact. <laughs> Let it go. <laughs> Let it go. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty good. Just in time. All right, we also had the Bills over the Dolphins, 32-29. Good game. Good Josh game. Allen, 30, 304 passing yards, four TDs, and 77 rushing yards. I should have drafted Josh Allen, man. I don't know. I did, that. I did. I took Pat instead. The I Dolphins, y'all were looking good to that snow picked up again. And then, you know what I'm saying? We saw the child. Y'all were cold. Y'all Niggas was out the element. They actually yeah. uh, paused the game because they were throwing snowballs at. Dude, they said that. I yeah. saw that. <laughs> they were throwing snowballs out on the field. Then they scored, and they were just throwing them all throughout the crowd. Hmm. Like, Buffalo is a wild place. It is. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's a third world country or something. It is. It's like fucking... <laughs> That sentence was crazy. <coughs> Buffalo was a wild place. <laughs> Dude, it, you guys see it. They like they scored and it's just like they showed the crowd and it's just snowball, snowball. I think it's snowball. just like I think it's just too many white people there. Uh it's probably too many white people, Jaeger, 
And you know what I'm saying? Rap Coors, Coors Light. Like that. You got to make Coors Light. Coors Light. You Crash gonna throw it. a snowball too. Fuck yeah, I'm going to throw a snowball. <laughs> <laughs> like, nigga. We went Every, I think everybody at the stadium threw a snowball. That's the type of thing you like, yo, we got to go to a game in Buffalo in the snow because I want to throw a snowball. Yeah, you're not kicking yeah. us all out the stadium. Everybody in that stadium threw a snowball. I don't know if you're throwing them on the field, though. Like, I, I'd no. probably throw them when they scored. The Definitely. Throw Definitely. Snowballs go where they go, bro. Yeah. Snowballs ain't got no eyes like that. They ain't got no eyes, bro. They just end up. As long as it ain't no yellow snow you throwing. It's, it's rules to this, Chris. Yeah. Long That's just sick. Long sick as the South Sudan Prime Minister ain't out there. <laughs> <laughs> nah. Miami played a good game, I thought. They played a good game, and it just seemed like, I, I guess not out of nowhere because it's Buffalo, but it, you could tell, like, the snow picked up because before the field, they had cleared it off and they were playing. Next thing you know, it was just getting, like, snow <laughs> everywhere. Here, they got discouraged. They was like, man, it's just getting colder and colder out here. I want to go home. Literally, like we were watching the game. My brother said it was Miami was still up, and he was like, I think they about to lose because they paying to two on the sideline. He was all cold yeah. with the coat on and shit. It's like you know, nigga, get money, man. What? Nigga didn't get the big drink. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need a big. They gave me what they gave me, bro. All the money we got was drink. Just, they, all, like, they, they all a dollar. Just a small. <laughs> just give me a small. So you know that's the same price as the large. You might as well get the large drink. It's nah. only a dollar. Nah, 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 nah. I'm cool. Nah, man. This is what they handed out the window, and I ain't feel like our medium. Didn't Buffalo yeah. clinch uh, MC East now? No, they clinched the playoffs. They gave him a yeah. cup that fit his hands. Because yeah, the Dolphins are still, <laughs> I think, just two games behind him, and there's three games left or something. Oh, and they split. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So they clinched for the playoffs, but just not the division yet. But it's oh. looking like they will. They should. I think they still got Cincinnati on their schedule. Johnny got that for you. Well, I'll let you know. I don't know. It was a good game, though. So they're holding on to that number one seed, barely, over the barely. Chiefs. Barely. Barely. We don't, hey, listen here, man. The Chiefs don't matter. And no matter where we play, we're going to beat you by 10. Bears, you so? Bengals, Patriots left on the schedule. Bears, Bengals, Patriots. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah, the Bengals. They on whose schedule? The, 40, the Chiefs? The Bills. On the Bills. The Bills. Oh. What is it? Bears, Bengals, <laughs> what? Patriots. Patriots. Oh. So, but y'all lost to the Bills. They yeah, are the did. Bills. Yeah. The Chiefs did. No, the Chiefs yeah. did. I was saying y'all to. Yeah, I mean, we yeah. lost to the Bills last year, too. But when it's when it time to get down to it in the playoffs, we win. Yeah. Well, that's that's true. We do. They did that. Yeah, I done broke uh, Stefan Diggs' heart like twice in a row. Fuck his heart. <laughs> and he'll be on that field. Sad. Fuck his heart as a football <laughs> player. As You know, I don't know you as a man. You probably a good fella and shit. A good fella. <laughs> <laughs> that's the watch talking, my nigga. Hey, you want to talk about a nigga with some money? This shit. <laughs> <laughs> Showing hey, up with he been rich. That's I true. Have you right. right. You right. <laughs> I you know what my rich bad. forever. I'm new to this. I'm yeah. gonna go. I forgot. I forgot. I'm gonna send you. I'm gonna send you the rules. <laughs> the rules of the rich. I'm gonna send you the black excellence. Handbook. You right. You right. <laughs> All right. Real quick, wrapping up the NFL. Uh, we had Ezekiel Elliott scored a touchdown today against the Jaguars. Seven straight games. Is Zeke back? No. Nope. He's not. Tony he Pollard's like still a better player. Zeke. More explosive player for sure. Zeke just trying to keep some money in his pocket. Zeke, I mean, he ain't trash. He's good yeah. as a. Uh, They've used him as like a power back now. Yeah, like a split back rotation. I like yeah. Zeke. Uh, Cowboy signed wide receiver T. Y. Hilton. Oh, I saw that. Fuck T. Y. Hilton. Wow. I'm just gonna throw it out there. You I don't know, know what like these the, people have done to you. The 28 point comeback when they came back on the Chiefs, the he coach, did. that was no T. Y. Hilton. He did it. I remember that. <clears throat> Him and no Andrew Luck. Yeah. I think it was like Greg Wesley out there trying to guard him or some shit. Sting, remember the DB? Dale everything. Carter. No, it wasn't Dale Carter. It was I like, just saw somebody post a post like, if it was one player from past Chiefs teams that you could put on this team, what would it be? And Dale Carter was like the first person somebody said. What? No, Derek Thomas. Yeah. yeah. Eric Berry. Dale Carter was no. raw, though. Dale Carter was It'd either be Derek Thomas or uh, Jamal Charles. I don't know Priest Holmes. Definitely. Yeah, they Priest, def- Priest was like second or Priest third. Priest Holmes was not as good as Jamal they Charles. They definitely could use Jamal Charles. Right Priest there. Holmes had the best line, probably one of the best lines ever assembled in the national yeah. football. No, they Larry did. Johnson? Willie Rolfe. He was not better than Jamal Charles. That first year, he was pretty Larry good. Johnson? Larry Johnson was limited. He just had the best line. They, one of the best lines ever. Him and Priest ever. Holmes benefited from that line with Willie Rolfe, Will Shields, John Tate, Grunhardt. But Priest Holmes was still way better than Larry Johnson. I don't know that. Especially catching the ball. 
Larry Johnson was a beast, but the line helped a lot. But you saw what Larry Johnson was. He was exposed after that line went down. Yeah, but after the line left, he (laughs) was like, he couldn't get a yard. But then Jamal Charles came in, like, I can get six. Derrick Henry reminds me of him, like, because he just runs straight up. That's why I used to hate about Larry Johnson. Larry Johnson just ran straight up. Oh, Larry Johnson. Uh, Yeah, let me think back. He used to run straight up. Yeah, but Larry Johnson was a big dude. I can see. He wasn't as big as. He's not as big as Derrick. No, he's not. But Larry Johnson. He did run straight up. He ran straight up. Yeah. But he was more like a, a really long strider when he got out. Mm-hmm. Derrick Henry's just like choppy fast, it looks to me. Mm-hmm. Could you could you break down a tackle? Derrick Henry? Yeah. If yeah, we was in a hole. If he was in the Oklahoma drill, you got Oklahoma, it. I would floor Derrick Henry off <laughs> <in> Oklahoma drill. <laughs> 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 you crazy. How you gonna see this boy feet in the air? <laughs> 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 well, what happened? I don't think what? Derrick Henry's like a power runner like that. Not in the, not in the, between the tackles. In the open field, you, why? Why are you just lying? Field, he's just fast. No, the open field, he's a he's a low, but like he's fast and he, he's a low. He he he's a low in the open field, that, but like coming through the line, no Glorilla over here. Derrick Henry, bro, he know, got I'm a low getting. Glorilla over here. He got a low Doty. <laughs> if we just land down, you talking Oklahoma Drill? We land down like this. They snap, spin, get up, get at him. I'm tearing him bro, down. Bro, he is trucking. I'm you. tearing him down. Are you gonna see his boy feet up? Yeah, there. I'm yeah. putting him down, hitting him, drive my feet. I'm gonna go. give him that juju tree. <laughs> <laughs> they gonna get the smelling salt. Derek, give me two sunflower seeds and the bus pass. <laughs> Corvette, Corvette. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and also had uh, it looks like the Raiders have found some kind of kickoff hack. I don't know if you guys have seen this. I, I heard about this. Uh, I don't know if you've noticed, but they start holding <laughs> off like they did it like against the Rams, and you know the Rams. You know, ain't no win there or nothing. But they had somebody holding the kickoff. So you can, you hold it, when you get to, when you hold it, you get to put it like a different way on the tee. So they're holding it to where it's more, uh, it's more of a way you can get under the ball to more kick it higher. Under. More foot up under it to, to get it higher so you can run down there and stuff them. So instead of booming it deep, you're kicking it higher, kind of like a punt, and your coverage team can get down there to tackle them. So, Everybody's not saying always trying to find a way to yeah, be better, man. It's not saying it's winning games for them or anything like that. But, the damn sure ain't. <laughs> but they figured out a little bit of a hack. Is it a hack if you still losing every game though? That's the real question. But you winning kickoffs? <laughs> <laughs> My nigga. <laughs> but I don't know. You think more teams would that adapt to this, or it's just not that big of a deal? No, it's a big deal. Especially if you, if they go back and look at the film and they see throughout the course of a season, like man, they are getting like some great field position on kickoffs. I, th- I think it's pretty smart. The like, hell yeah, they're going to do it. Now, if, a, if a, a better team, especially a team with a good defense, uses adapts this style. I I've always wondered why they just don't kick your hots like that dude right but in front of the returner, like the, mm-hmm. normally like the fullback. A, a fatter guy. Yeah, that yeah. always tries to catch it, but you know he ain't going no fucking way. <laughs> or they always try to pitch it back and could fumble. They never pitch it back. Though. Yeah, That's they the should pitch it back. I think you come. should always pitch it back. Well, like, no, because it's nothing. so much of a risk of fumbling, though. I At that care. point, I'd rather you just get tackled in bad field position than a chance of fumbling. I think the bigger risk is having the, the chubby guy running the ball. Yeah, and it's you, hard you, to tackle, too. Though. Most of the time, it'd be like the fullback who gets, like, seven carries throughout a season. Now, all of a sudden, he's running back kickoff in the open field. Hell no. Pitch it back. So the fast guy is supposed to have the ball anyway. Yeah. All right, on to the NBA. Uh, Steph Curry suffers a labrum injury mm. in his left shoulder. He went may, into the labor, huh? That may not require surgery, but will be, will be reevaluated in two weeks. Dante DiVincenzo has White filled Dante. in for him White in Dante. the starting lineup. He has playing been playing well. White Dante. I like White Dante. White Dante. Yeah. That's what you call him? White yeah. Dante. Yeah. White Dante. You don't meet too many of them. Yeah. He a real one. He a real one. <laughs> He's fit his, his name well. Is it because he gets his hair lined up? He do. He does. You got to get that <laughs> razor line. You get him a razor. Ah, uh, that's trouble what for What was White Dante? Gonzaga, Villanova, Michigan State? Villanova. Yeah. Villanova? Yeah. Okay. I know it was one of them. So, Lindari, you're a, you know, a little bit of a Warriors fan. It's, uh, it's tough sledding out there. Tough they're already kind of struggling. Yeah, yeah they're already kind of struggling. It's a tough year on defense for them. And for some reason, they can't win a road game. Like, they figure out how to play offense on the road. And Wiggins has been hurt also. Yeah. What's Don't I know Wiggs? I didn't know that. He's just been in and out He's of the He's just from Canada, bro. That's true. <laughs> it's something with his legs. Hamstring. 
Mm. Hamstring, calf string, something like that. But, you know, like Dante been playing good. Kaminga's been playing pretty decent. Kaminga's been playing better. Uh, Wiseman's still in the goddamn G League. Yeah. Which, that was a bust. Is that yeah. a bust? Uh, you know. <laughs> we got to see. If he come back and he's, I don't know. He might What's be his bust. issue? Like, why, why, why is he in the G League? He's not playing He's well. just not. I don't want to say he's stupid because I don't know the man. But he just, his defensive IQ is piss poor. Like I don't want to say he's stupid, but he got a low IQ. No, just like because I mean his <laughs> defensive IQ, he goes for every pump fake. Like I mean anything. He's eager. If you look up, he's going. He's up. eager. <laughs> oh, shit. He wants that like, block. It's it's like he goes for every pump fake. They can do a pick and roll, and he just like lags back when he's not supposed to. It's just like he don't know what he's supposed to do. Like he's good, a single defensive person. Like if you throw the ball in the post and he's guarding him. Okay, he's passable. So then, but team he was, defense, he don't know what's going on. If you were his coach, what would you say to him? Boy, you stupid. <laughs> <laughs> See, the no, thing is, the thing is, they they drafted him on his potential with his offense. He can shoot. Obviously, put him in that Warriors lineup, being able to shoot at the big man spot. But he shoots so slow too. That's another problem. Yeah, but you're seven foot. You can shoot slow. No, you can't shoot slow. You're, man. I mean, if you're Kevin Durant. Like Kevin Durant is jumping, you know, he's seven mm-hmm. feet, then he jumps another three in the air. Yeah, but that's kind of like Wiseman. Wiseman ain't jumping three in the air on that jump shot. But still, nobody's really blocking that jump shot. But still, the thing is, you got enough shooting with the Warriors. You needed their draft defense. So the thing about Wiseman when he came out was he already was defensive ready. He was, you know, like Anthony Davis when he came out. They were like, we know he got the defense, but we can get the offense going. We got a star. Yeah. That was, a, that was the same way with Wiseman coming out. But – the defense took a step back and now he in the G League. Now he in the G League. That, I guess you know you're trying to build his confidence up. Go down there, dunk he, on some people, work on your post game. He got a little confidence. <laughs> Pretty much. It's not working out. Uh anyways. Uh the Grizzlies. Talk oh, about the Grizzlies. Grizzlies. Uh now first in the West. We got really? another new first team in the West. Yeah. Just kind of rotating through in okay. the West. Take that. It's a revolving door in the West. Uh the Grizzlies beat the Bucks one forty two to one oh one. The Bucks for their seventh straight win. Held Giannis to 19 points. John Moran had a triple double, 25, 10, and 10 in three quarters. In three? Yeah. You yeah. talking about a game last night? No. So he didn't uh, play the fourth a, at all? They were that, uh, they were a couple up that nights much ago. by the fourth? Uh, yeah. The game last night, he got kicked out. Yeah, he did. He got ejected in for the talking to like the second uh, quarter, I think fan. it was. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, I don't know what happened, but like Instagram was pissed. Like, find the refs. He said they were shooting free throws, bro. And then he said he was talking to the fan. The fan, even the fan, was like he was talking to me. Like they were like having a whatever. Oh, the ref with. thought he was talking to him. I guess so, and threw him out. And he was like, "But I was talking to her." It I'm was like, a girl. "Anybody fucking talking to you, Charles?" Yeah, and he got kicked out. <laughs> Charles. Yeah, I don't know what's the ref name. Who was the ref that kicked out Tim Duncan when he was on the bench already? Who knows? Um, you remember that shit? He's like, he's laughing over there. And they're like, "What?" I do. Remember I do that. remember that. Like you can't I don't kick remember him out for laughing, was, but that was wild. Yeah. It's like getting a ticket and you ain't driving. No, he got the first tech and he got on the bench. Like I don't even know what the fuck I did, man. Dude was like, "Oh, you laughing? Mm-hmm. Yeah, fuck him out of here, Timmy." Yeah, I'm not gonna do what you today, Timmy. <laughs> I still remember his voice. All right, so I don't know if you guys saw this game, but early in the week we had possibly the best, the most entertaining game of the season. Didn't see it. We had okay. the. <laughs> okay. I just know I didn't. We had the Celtics 122, 118 over the Lakers in OT. Didn't see it, but I did. It was Wait, was day. that uh, Tuesday night? I think it was. It was earlier in the week. I saw that because the Warriors played uh, the Bucks that night too. I think. Well, uh, AD touched the ball only one time in OT. That's been like a reoccurring thing. I was like, did we talk? He ain't about gonna that be touching week? the ball no time soon. Well, yeah, we gonna get. To he that. hurt. We gonna get to that. He hit a table. <laughs> <laughs> let's um, get to it now, Chris. This man running. Hold to on, a table. let me finish this game first. All right, let's go. Uh, but uh, in during that game, uh, Jason Tatum, he had 44, 9, and 6. Big uh, buckets. Jalen Brown had 25, 15 rebounds, 5 assists, and 3 steals. Okay. okay. So big game for the Celtics. Uh, but then we did have the game, the others Lakers game this week was Lakers 126, Nuggets 108. So they did win this one against the Nuggets. Without Michael Porter Jr. Okay. Uh, Russell Westbrook with another triple-double off the bench, 15, 12, and 11. <coughs> no player has ever averaged 15, 5, and 5 off the bench in a season. Could he be sixth man of the year? 
Yeah. I feel like that's kind of cheating, though. It's not. He They moved him to the bench. Yeah. No, that's kind of. I mean, you don't like that. Since he started the season as a starter, he can't be six. It's not that he can't be say? six. It's like Russell Russell Westbrook, bro. I think it's he's going code. to the Hall of Fame. To be like, oh, now our Hall of Famer that we just made off the bench is six man a year. Like you stole that award from some really dude that was, you know, really. But there's new. that's Hall like of, literally what he is, though. Uh, that's kind of cheating, man. Isn't there Hall of Famers that are Manu that were six man their whole career? Yeah, Manu, Manu pretty much was damn near six man his whole career. But yeah, I'm I feel like that. Manu was a starter though. Well, he played starter minutes, which was kind of yeah, crazy. He like he's six man, minutes, but you still I don't play ever a starter. thirty something minutes a night. Which he was, is six he man. was never a starter or a star. I don't think he was ever like, a bro, starter. We, could, we were people literally saying move Russ to the bench. And yeah. Now they yeah, no. to the bench and no, no. like they can't win the six man. I'm fine with game. him balling on the bench. We're like, damn, bro, I don't know if you like six man material, bro. You think a six man? You think like, oh, this dude's up and coming. He got six man next year. He might be a starter and really do something. The only people Bro, you know that like stay he, six men are like uh, Manu, Crawford, Williams, Jamal, Jamal Crawford. Uh, right, that's a good Lou one. Williams. Lou, Lou was Williams. Was Lou Williams right. six man forever? I think Lou Williams started a little bit. He though. was best as a. But he was morph into that though. All right. It, I mean, it, your I career can go the opposite way to where your career is getting to the this end. This nigga's a hater, bro. I didn't, yeah. I'm saying he can ball, but damn, you, you gonna steal the six man? He not stealing. The boy he just got it. MVP like what? He four earned years it. Ago? He earned it. He six earned playing not as good as the starter. <laughs> when did he get MVP? Was it like four years ago? It's, Let's it's call it that. Few years, yeah. God, now we like now you get six man. Come on. Bro, his road his hey, bro, yeah, come bro, on, his road here. It's like that. Uh, that who was the Virginia Tech swimmer that was a dude and trans. Oh, that's not come the same. And then dogged him out, bro. No, come on, come man. on. Stop man. That, bro. This man's he's a, a hater, Hall of Famer. Come on, is he is a bro. Hall of Famer. Now he's gonna steal the six man from. I don't know who's out there going for six man this year. Bro. Nobody, because Russ running away with that. He's still a six man from uh, <laughs> from Kamingers. Shit, I don't know. I had what uh, Ben Matherin. He's a rookie though, but. From the Pacers? Yeah. That dude been bald. I think he's been like kind of in six-man race. That's what I'm saying. Russ, you going to rob this man of this? He should play better than Russ. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> but he might end up getting – well, no, Paulo will probably get rookie of the year. But Wait, who are they? He's going to be in it. Hold on. Ben who are the Lakers starting? Is it uh, – They must be starting Pat Bev. It's Lonnie Walker. I like Lonnie Walker. Uh, are they starting Pat Bev? I Pat Beverly. Yeah. Beverly yeah. Walker. Um, See, and, come on. Uh, that, that, that don't sound kind of weird. No, nah, like, Reeves isn't started. Uh, well, obviously LeBron, AD, well, Russ was. gonna get six man of the year. I don't know who's but the other he guard. They're starting three uh, guards. Oh, starting three guards. What's uh Thomas? Uh, that's a big. He's not starting. Anyways, I no. forgot. Do your thing. Russ. <laughs> All right, so <laughs> come on the podcast, Russ. <laughs> Tell me I'm wrong. Uh, but no, uh, LeBron had thirty points, eight rebounds, and okay. AD, AD left the game at halftime with oh, the sore foot. Schroeder. Yeah, Schroeder. Yeah, that's, oh, what, that's what I was searching for. Uh, no, nah, he definitely can't get six. So, but AD <laughs> left the game at the halftime with a sore foot. This sore foot ended up having him out for a month. So now AD will be out for a month. Things were going so well. Hey, this is my I'm not surprised face. He was the best player in the league while he was while he was uh, doing his thing. He was. God. I said that, and y'all looked at me goofy. Gave the man. Lakers hope again. He had a glimmer out there like, <clears throat> like he found himself. But just like that. In a blink of eye. Fucking table took it all away. Back into street clothes. It wasn't a table this time. What was it? It wasn't it wasn't actually a moment. Just, they just said a sore foot, he was out, and then this sore foot turned into oh, a month. Oh. They didn't even say the injury yet. But they don't make them like they used to. No. Well, I mean, this this ain't the first. Jonathan Bender, you know, was out here. Supposed to be the next great thing. Come on, bro. He's not Jonathan Bender. No, he's way past Jonathan <laughs> Bender, but people have been getting injured for years, but god damn it. Bender. Anthony Davis is probably the one with the greatest ceiling. That gets injured the most. Well, yeah, we know that. We'll and it don't that. be like catastrophic. It'd be like Knicks. It ain't like Brandon Roy. A sore like, foot. My knees yeah. is just bad. It's like I hit the table, twist my ankle, and I'm out two and a half you months. You and this table, boy. Two and a half months. <laughs> the boy fragile. That's all it is. The boy is fragile. Handle with care. For sure. It sucks, man. Seeing a great player like that just hindered. He was heralded as great Do you think player. it's him, or you think it's, like, real, like, injuries? like? Because, like, he'll have an injury, and they would be like, dude, you've been out the longest time for a twisted ankle. Do you think that he also doesn't want to play through these injuries? That's too? what I'm saying. I think it's more that, too. Like, some people will just be like, ah, oh, I got a sprained ankle. I'm still going to play. 
He like tighten nah. his shoe up. I'm ready yeah. to go. Yeah, like, put me a break. I mean, like, I'm, nah, I'm I might good. miss two games, but I'm not gonna miss like a month. Yeah, AD's AD like, be good. missing like a month with like the craziest. Like, yo, AD had a paper cut and he's out three weeks. <laughs> So, anyways, Jokic, Jokic, that game, he had 43 points on 17 of 20 shooting. It's pretty oh, that's impressive. Good, man. Nobody played. Uh, 14 rebounds, eight assists, four steals, in the wins versus win versus the, versus the Wizards this week. That was a good game from him. I think we can get AD on the podcast. AD, mm-hmm. probably he ain't not doing nothing else. He ain't doing nothing else. Hey man, y'all just sending shots his way. Well, I would just ask him, like, dude, what is going on? He's like, man, I'll be hurt. I'd be like, are you hurt? Bro, are you, you barely injured? you barely want to do a podcast when you be sick all the time. But I I, I don't have my flu game. <laughs> Has AD ever had a, a flu game? Hell no. Or a hurt game. Hell no. <laughs> AD be like, I can't play, I got gas. <laughs> <laughs> my stomach been rumbling all day. I'm out, nah, coach. My stomach. I'm gonna give it a benefit of that. I don't know. Lord have mercy. It, sucks. it <laughs> do suck to be, always be injured like that. It does. Did you when miss you, any games in high school when you played football? I was football? just about to ask him the same question. Ah, uh, don't make me lie, bro. That was over 20 <laughs> years ago. Like, I was an Iron Man. All state. Didn't miss a game. Yes, yeah, sir. Something like that. OG Something in the like game that. over here. 2002. And they they happened to the best of them. And they yeah. got gray belly hairs. <laughs> one of my, That's wild. <laughs> this girl on my, I grew, hey. she's like she grew up. Her family lived in her grandma lived next door to my grandma, so we kind of grew up together. And she said, "Gray pubic hairs is a real thing." Well, insinuating that that's where she at. <laughs> Why would she tell you that? It was on Facebook. Not she, she told she the didn't world. Tell oh, me, nigga. Like, like I don't talk to her like that. She told the world that. Craig. That's wild. That's beyond yeah, me. Nah, bro. You crazy girl. Show. Me. <laughs> Y'all saw that. Y'all got so, great down there yet. Nah, bro. I'm still thir- flourishing. I only got like these eight grades right here. I think I'm getting some over on the side, too, though. But. I got a couple of them. I'm trying to get the yeah, Lovey Smith going, movie. honestly. I nah, Lovey Smith is yeah. crazy. I wouldn't mind a little I didn't even bro. know that was him today. Well, I was the like, full grade? Yeah. Full grade. 38. Nah. You want the full grade joint? I can't rock that full Give grade. Give me the full joint. grade. I mean, I can. Right I now, would. I'm but out here killing. I don't want it. The salt and pepper's cool, but <laughs> I don't have enough like, salt. You know what I'm saying? And then go look like Nunu Daddy. Nunu Daddy put up in something nice, though. That's my daddy. Uh, Your daddy got it. <laughs> Park his May back in the front of the skate ring. Come on. All right, moving along to the Nets. Uh, Nets are 11 and 3 since Kyrie's return. What? They made a game winner the other night. Y'all better yep. apologize to Kyrie. Kyrie's been balling in New Balances and, and, and long hanging socks. He actually, what, he taped over the Nike sign with his first game first back. <laughs> you think the New Balances are more? Because New Balance, let's be honest, those are some comfortable fucking shoes. I'm going to let they you know are. something. I want to let you know something. I've never stuck my foot in the They're not really I yeah. never wore a pair of New Balance? Booties, never ever. But I had like oh, the, no. the 579s or whatever. Yeah, like the, the cool New Booties. Yeah. I ain't had no hooping New Booties, though. No. Nah. Yeah, yeah. Never put. You know, I think never it's a five seventy nine. Might as well wear uh, linings too. No, New Balance are comfortable. I've man. had I've had Reebok Classics. I've had some Pumas. Are black Reebok Classics on the same level with black Air Forces? Nope. Oh. Melo said he bringing black forces back, bro. He he looked like the type. Of I looked at him and I seen it. And I was like, you fucking crazy. Yeah. So he wore them to that game. I know. He wore all black Air Forces to that game, and then he did like a podcast the next day. So I'm yeah. bringing them back. No, you better put on some all black Vans. <laughs> I think all all black shoes just look no. shifty. But Melo's yeah. Melo's a black, black Air Force hey, I'm guy. Give some all black Air hey. Force ones. My nigga on all black. <laughs> it's not all like shoes. It's just the Air Force one. <laughs> you still at the offering plate, my nigga. That's all that is. Yeah, I just <laughs> look at the thing. Like, look, do you know what I'm making? Like, who told you I did that? Well, y'all so, that was y'all so blind, crossing mother. <laughs> we don't even have offering plates like that at our church. Oh, really? Just play but if y'all did though, I wouldn't touch it. I'm a man of the law. I give online. I give online. (laughs) (laughs) All right. Uh, With the net. Oh, where was I at? I got to look at my notes. About the net. was on the nets. Yeah. A bunch of games. The nets are currently on a five-game winning streak and up to the fourth seed in the East. Number four. Kyrie has averaged 25, 5, and 5 in that span. Pedestrian. Uh, Nick Clayton also playing well, especially defensively. Jacques Vaughn is 16 and 7. And has the Nets ranked eighth in offense and sixth in defense. Fuck them. The Nets? Nah, I don't. I don't. I ain't got <laughs> to fight, man. 
He likes to throw that's that one word out. You just have to see. Like, I still don't think that even with this, the Nets playing as well as they are, I don't think they're better than Boston. I don't know if they're better. The than Cavs? Sure. The Cavs, Cavs, Cavs they better, always hurt, bro. Not so better than the Bucks. They, uh-huh. I don't think they're better than the Bucks. So I'm like, I don't. What what do they get from that? Yeah. So I mean, participation. They can, and they can prove me wrong. They can go into the playoffs and do their thing, but we're a long way from that. So we'll just. As long as you see. got KD and Kyrie, you got a yeah, shot. Yeah, you got a shot. Yeah. Devin Booker, fifty eight points, oh, five rebounds, that. five assists. His fifth fifty. His fifth fifty point game. It seems like, <clears throat> like he's good from one of those once a year. This is second this year. How many layers have you been in the league? Booker? I don't Johnny got that on the Google. Huh. Appreciate you, Johnny. Johnny. Been Y'all in working the league today. Five years. <laughs> I was thinking that too. Like five. Yeah. Like, he's good from one of those uh, one of those a year. I think him and Embiid are the only ones this season with multiple fifty point games. Drafted in 2015, so seven years. Seven years. Seven years. Man, you seen Man, younger that than that. Fast. Yeah, they did. Uh, Tyler Hero goes for 41.6 rebounds and a win versus the Rockets and 35 points with nine three-pointers and a win versus the Thunder. Back-to-back games. Is he a starter? Tyler Hero, he is starting. Is he? What yeah. <laughs> is it cold, bro? Oh, he had a chill. The leather on your ass. What? The what? I don't know. Why are you looking at my booty? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, why is this built at you? Oh my god, bro, you so it's mad. a man over here. I'm looking like, where are you, you looking at his nipples? <laughs> Checking out Johnny's plumber crack. <laughs> what are you doing over here? <laughs> I'm just looking Sometimes you can just be quiet. Just be. <laughs> I was quiet. Just keep things Stay to yourself. Away. <laughs> just pie, man. I'm comfortable. I'm All right, man, we're moving along. Business. Let's move along, man. We're getting wild out here. Moving forward. <laughs> uh, Kemba Walker in his first start of the season, 32 points, five rebounds, seven assists, and OT lost to the Cavs. Kemba will do that, but then he'll be Who Who's he playing with now? The Mavs. Really? Yep. Without... Who's their starting point guard? When did he get there? Luka? No, who's their starting point guard, though? <coughs> uh, Dan Whitty? Dallas. I think Dan Whitty. Oh. They just signed him recently. Yeah, they oh. just signed him a he couple was, games ago. Wasn't he with Charlotte? He was nowhere. He was nowhere. He came really? straight off the street. Kimba Dropped 32. Street. Damn, he didn't have a job? No. He good enough. So. He should have had a job. Kimba? Mm-hmm. How old is he? Johnny I got would it. say he's probably 33. <laughs> That's, that might be a good guess. 34. 32. Damn. Y'all both suck. Price is right. I won that one. <laughs> <laughs> Highest without going over. Y'all both went over. All right. And then we got last for NBA. Cade Cunningham. Cade Under, Cunningham. Go, undergoes season-ending surgery. Oh, that sucks. To stabilize and promote complete healing of left tibial stress fracture. That sucks. That does suck. Get better soon. They got, uh, who else they got? He's in Detroit, right? Yeah, they got a lot of good players. On I was about the, to say, young, they got young, some, some young good players. players Jaden Ivey. They got Jaden Ivey. Yeah. Uh, a bunch of good is. players. Isaiah Stewart. Shit happens. Yeah. It's tough for him, though. Young and upcoming star in the league. Trying to be. He keep getting hurt. It's only his second year, though. He's yeah, gone. I know. Yeah, like, yeah. That still sucks still. to lose. Like, he got hurt last year, too. So, lose the first yeah. two years of your Man, career. It happens. And B did. And B did, yeah. I'm like, it happens. Yeah. And B did. Like, did. God did. <laughs> <laughs> and B did. <laughs> Y'all wild on this episode. <laughs> All right, Frank Gore Jr. <laughs> Frank Gore. Frank Gore Jr. No, I'm thinking about the daddy. Oh, okay. He goes for a bold game rushing record of 320 yard nine yards versus Rice. The running jeans. Does he play for Miami too? He plays for Southern Miss. Okay. He looked just like Frank Gore though. He did with Dredd. Well, well, yeah, with something dreads, going on yeah. in his head. Something like that, yeah. <laughs> so, wait, this, uh, something this is totally not uh, relevant. When did Frank Gore retire? Why ain't he in the Hall of Fame yet, Chris? Frank Gore, Gore has, he's not eligible yet. He just retired, he like, just retired like three years ago, so two years like ago. This might be like his second year out the league. Yeah. I know he played for him, but I couldn't remember when he retired. He was just he was playing last like, with the Jets, right? Yeah. Yeah, just a few years ago, a couple years ago. Okay. As you were, sir. Johnny's got that for us, though. What's that? Oh, I thought you was looking up that Frank Gore. When oh, did I'm he trying retire? to figure it out. Give me a second. You got to be out, what, five years uh-huh. to be eligible yeah. for the Hall of Fame? Yeah. So he'll get there. So his son rushed for 300, you said? 329 in a bowl game. Jeez. It's a record. 
all up and down that goddamn field. And he pushed his auntie out the way in a post game mm-hmm. interview. It's like auntie, chill. <laughs> How many passing yards did they have? I don't know. This last year was twenty nineteen. Oh no, that. Uh, 2020, so two years ago. Yeah. Okay. Well, you know, like father, like son, I guess. Yep. Frank Orion did that in college, did he? He was a beast. Yeah, he Miami. did. Yeah. He had a 300. I don't know if he oh, had no. a 300 yard game. Yeah. Like, yeah. I just watched. Uh, but he had multiple 200 yard games. I just watched. Uh, what was it? The pivot. The other one from I Am Athlete, the pivot. Yeah. yeah. And they had a uh, Clinton Portis on there, and he was. He said, like, out of all the Florida running backs or Miami running backs, Frank Gore is probably the best one. Was he's it? like, it's hard to it's hard to say he's better than Edge. Like, he had, like, Edge and Frank yeah, Gore up there. Yeah. But yeah. he was like, was Frank good. Gore, Frank Gore was like. And McGahee was McGahee. I was about to that say, was his wasn't list. a. Yep. That was McGahee his list. broke both his legs in college, didn't he? He, he tore his ACL. Yeah. Oh, okay. I thought that I was thought his list, Gore though. He was like Willis. But he said uh, he, he had a lot of love for Willis, like, once they got to the league. You know what I'm saying? They. Bond was different, but it was Willis, Edge, Frank Gore, and basically him. Who else was in Miami as a running back? Yeah. That shit's real good. That was. That's a good string of running backs, though. Yeah. Miami. You think, like, the best running running backs right there? I, that was I like think back so. to back to back to back. Yeah. yeah. I, think so. I would think so. I'm trying to think. Uh, Oklahoma had. Uh, they got some good quarterbacks. I mean. Joe Not Nixon. necessarily NFL quarterbacks. But they wouldn't. They don't know. Adrian Peterson is the headliner out of that list. Yeah. But then after that, like. I'm trying to think who was before Adrian Peterson. I don't know. That might be one. I'm thinking like USC <coughs> had Bush, Lindell White. Lindell White trash. Wisconsin had. Uh, what was that dude that was crazy at Wisconsin? Ron Dane. Yeah. Ron, Ron Dane. Dane. Wow. Texas, that'd be like Texas had a good streak of backs. Too. They did Cedric Benson. They had uh, Jamal Charles. Jamal Charles yes. or Auburn. They had uh, Cadillac Williams. Uh, Cadillac down by the water. Yeah, <laughs> inside <laughs> joke. Good, good backs down there too. That's a good. That's a good string right there. Yeah, that's a good four runners that four running backs that you like. They were all and they even they had good in the NFL league. Well, good. Alabama yeah. though, you know they yeah. they, 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 they careers are not over, but they had Derrick Henry, Bo Scarborough. Uh, Jacobs, Josh Jacobs. Yeah, he's having a great year. Kenyon Drake. Uh, <clears throat> they had. That's more. They had some yeah. runs. Yeah. Damian Harris. Damian Harris from the Patriots. Michigan State. He went to Alabama. Michigan oh. State had Le'Veon Bell. Yeah, but who else though? Javon Ringer, T.J. Duckett. I remember <laughs> T.J. Duckett. <laughs> Kenneth Walker. Hey, TJ Duckett was a beast. <laughs> Thank you, Google. I'm about to say he rang those off kind of quick. <laughs> hey, shut up. <laughs> That's uh, pretty impressive. All right, we also had uh, Drew Brees has been hired as the interim assistant coach for Purdue and will coach in the Citrus Bowl. They will be out. They will be without their QB, Aiden O'Connell, as he decided to play has decided not to play and declare for the NFL draft. Wait, so Drew Brees is going to be coaching Purdue next year? Yeah. I didn't even know Drew Brees was coaching. No. What do you mean? Right? He's just the assistant coach. Oh, so, so I he's going mean... to be an assistant coach with Purdue next year, though. I, I don't know. I don't know how it you bring a guy in for goal, one game as an game. assistant intern. That seems kind of strange. Keep the camera on Drew Brees. That may nigga, even. That nigga might suit up. Wait, may Drew may go to, be did he go to Purdue? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah. I'm just thinking black. I'm like, is it Vandy or something? Shit? I don't know. What's Purdue? All right. Then last but not least. Jesus Christ. What do you got? <laughs> so down 30 to nothing to Oregon State with 40 seconds left, the Florida Gators decided to kick a field goal to avoid being shut out for the first time since 1988. Is that Bush Lee? No. No. You ain't messed that on my head. field goal. Yeah. If you don't want us to score, I'm just saying. Like, would you go for a field goal? Or are you trying to score a touchdown? No, the game's the, over. The game so I'm touchdown don't help. Kick us. this field goal. <laughs> you go. But kick you don't want to be the coach that got shut out. The first four the coach gets shut out. Yeah, but they have recorded back to back losing seasons for the first time since 1978. Can't so you are the first that. coach to do that. I mean, the loss is the loss, but you're not gonna you're not gonna get me shut out too. Cause then when you're you not go gonna to hang all of this on my head. I can't do it. Cause you go to know. the AD off. He's like, we got two back to back losing seasons. 
first shutouts is fucking it's just Jesus stacking on you. It's stacking on you. You can't yeah. lie yourself out of this. You know what I'm saying? Be like, dang, who did all that? Two losing seasons. You like, you know what? We had a down recruiting class. We had some injuries. But down, we are getting shut out. You like, man, come on. I don't know if I can run the field goal unit out down 30 0. Yeah. Yeah, you can. Don't I don't think I can. All you got to do is be like, now you field be, goal. Right. <laughs> now you're going to be running to the unemployment line. Yeah. He's, mil- he's still might be, though. I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm trying. You gotta give yourself. I'm fighting for ammo, my life. You, know what I'm saying? you gotta give yourself some ammo when you go in that office because you know you're going in the office. I think I'm still bringing that to the table in the office. That what? That you only scored three points, and that was at the okay. very end of but the game. But you didn't get but, shut but out. It wasn't though. zero though. Yeah, it could have been zero. Close enough. That, that's my rebuttal to that. Like, fam, you want zero on there? You want you the make, goosey? You make it headlines if you get zero. Because when they, when they you tell you that, you're gonna say, "Look, we had a bad game, but I understand we got a culture here in Florida, so I'm never gonna let them shut us out." You, you begging at that point. Yeah. <laughs> but shit, what they paying for? Like three, four mil a year? No, no taxes either. Yeah, you got to talk your shit then. Like, listen, you a merciful man. <laughs> God-fearing man. Please don't fire me. All right, that's it. That's I it. That's, that's all we got. Peace and love. I guess I am. Jack Peters. That's it. <laughs>